Hey guys, thanks for watching the last couple of videos on my channel. I hope you liked it. Um, today, I thought I, I should make something quick and easy. I was feeling some chips, so instead of going unhealthy and going McDonald's or something to get fried chips, instead I'm gonna make my own uh, crispy baked sweet potato fries. Um, I'm gonna flavor it with some Cajun spices. I've got a whole array of things that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, very quick, very easy to make, and it'll be done before you know it. It's gonna be a definite crowd pleaser, and you can have it as a side dish to your mains, or you can even have it on its own. Put it on a fan oven and preheat it to about 180 degrees. Get your sweet potato, lay it down flat, cut right along the middle of the sweet potato so you get yourself two flat edges. Then just cut it into slices, the thickness that you would like your chips to be. And once you cut your chips, get yourself a large mixing bowl and just add it as you go. Do this until you've finished all, all your chips. To speed it up, you can even stack your sweet potato slices up on a side and then cut them all together at once. This will speed it up and keep more of them uniformly shaped. Once you guys have done cutting the sweet potatoes into the sizes that you want, Cover it with some cold water for about 20 minutes just to release any last bits of starch that are left in the potato to make your sweet potato fries even crispier. So guys, I poured the water out. It was a little bit cloudy, which tells me that the starch did get taken out of the sweet potato fries. I patted it down and now you're ready to add your spices. I'm gonna go in with the whole plate of spices straight on top. And to help bind it together, I'm also gonna go in with three tablespoons of coconut oil. I'll suggest using an oil like coconut oil because it withstands high temperatures um, and because you're gonna be making these sweet potatoes at a high temperature, you need an oil that is similar to coconut oil. You can also use grapeseed oil, canola oil, coconut oil I prefer because it adds that flavor to the sweet potato fries also. Once you're all done adding all your spices and your oils, just put your hand in and give it a mix. Just make sure you get a good generous coating of the rub on all the sweet potatoes. The oil should really help it stick well to the potatoes. Give it a mix and you're ready to make it. Alright guys, so once you've done mixing your spices into your sweet potatoes, get yourself an oven tray, line it with some baking paper and then I use a one cow spray because I feel like it reduces the amount of oil that I need to use and it does good coverage. So just Spray a little bit on, just to make sure that the sweet potatoes don't stick and then start laying your sweet potatoes on the tray. What you want to do is you want to leave a little bit of space in between all the fries because you want the air, the hot air to circulate around it and make sure it cooks properly. Try not to overlap your sweet potato fries and try and leave a little bit of space in between them. Once you've done that, you can put it straight in the oven. If you've got more than one tray, then you can put one on top of the other and just uh, switch their places about halfway through the cooking time. It should take about 25 minutes to cook. So when you're about halfway through the cooking time, just pull the oven tray out, flip the fries over quickly and you can put them back in so they cook evenly all the way around. All right guys, so as soon as the alarm goes off to tell you that the chips are done, take them out of the oven. It should be looking nice, dry, crispy. Bring them over. Alright guys, so there you have it. Beautiful sweet potato fries, they're nice and crispy. They taste amazing. You can add maple syrup. Some people like their sweet potato fries sweet. And you can have it with any sort of sauces that you want. Thanks for watching guys.